I'm a fourth generation ophthalmologist. I'm from India. I practice in New Delhi. And we have a center that's running for over a hundred years. So we offer them to anyone uh, who wants a little intermediate vision, uh, computer users, uh, anyone who wants uh, reasonable intermediate vision to, to work on their, their iPad or tablets, etc. Et as well. So we explain it in a way saying that uh, you will have the advantages of intermediate vision looking at your phone, looking at uh, your laptop or your iPad, and you will not experience any dysphotopsias or any problems associated with a multifocal lens. In general, uh, when we implant uh, a Ray-1 EMV, what we find is that the, the near vision comes to about N8 on the chart. Uh, when we do a bilateral implantation, we, we do a micro mono vision and uh, fine tune that so that in the second eye the patient is reasonably spectacle independent. So when we implant both eyes, by then the patient is independent of glasses in most cases. Uh, they may require it for very fine print, but in general they are independent of uh, spectacles. Uh, so what I found is that the near vision is a little bit superior to uh, some of the enhanced monofocal lenses. So it does better in, in that sense. And of course, we haven't had any complaints of uh, negative dysphotopsia or any other issues uh, like glares or halos. Uh, it's, a, it's a very easy lens to use, so I don't think there's anything to worry about with the lens. The injector system is, is very, very ergonomic and very easy to use. It goes through a very small incision, less than 2.2, without having to enlarge the incision. Uh, so just go ahead and use it, nothing much to, to worry about there.